Chapter 838, Flirtatious Banter After stepping inside the ruins, Long Jingxian strutted around like an extremely excited mad woman. The old turtle felt that there was something strange about the ruins and anxiously stated, There, there's a very strong murderous air here. Li Kai chuckled, blood ran like rivers back then. Countless experts of the stone medicine world lost their lives in this place, more than 1,000 ancestors in fact. These ruins were stained by blood so of course the air here would be like this. The old turtle felt chills after hearing this. Although he didn't see it with his own eyes, he could already imagine just how thrilling and devastating the battle was. I heard the beast realm had the biggest treasury in the stone medicine world. I'm sure every inch of this land is full of treasures. Should we excavate it? Long Jingxian happily ran back and laughed. Jian Wash Wang snorted. The beast realm was destroyed millions of years ago. This land has been dug by people in its entirety. It is too late for your turn. Forget it. What do you know? Long Jingxian glared at Jian Wash Wang in response. If a treasure could be found so easily, then it would no longer be a treasure. I am supreme in this world. The treasures not found by others shall be revealed by me alone. She raised her head in an arrogant pose after declaring this. However, her arrogant aura was not as strong as Jian Wash Wang's. She had a lively and noble aura, but her aggressiveness was truly lacking. Immortal emperors have been here before, do you think you can compare to them? Jian Wash Wang snorted. Long Jingxian wasn't convinced and proudly said, So what if they are immortal emperors? HMPH, as long as I try a bit more, I can become one as well. Are emperors more brilliant than me? Plus, even if they have been here before, there is a rumor about the secret treasury in the beast realm that has yet to be found. This clearly shows that even immortal emperors couldn't find it. But I am here now, and I'll definitely figure it out. These words were quite arrogant and exuded boundless confidence. However, she indeed had the ability to declare this. A natural-born immortal fate was destined for greatness. Alas, she liked to play around too much and didn't train in earnest. Otherwise, she would have reigned over the world and the title of number one wouldn't belong to Yi King Cheng. Li Kai gently shook his head. Wang Wang is right about this. These ruins have been completely rummaged through by others. It's not just limited to this world. Many paragons from the Nine Worlds have come here before, and a few immortal emperors were among them as well. If there's a secret treasury, then people would have found it long ago. Long Jinxian stared at Li Kai and stated, Ha ha, don't try to trick me. Our beast master Citadel has a deep understanding of the beast realm. I have read many ancient scrolls about it, and there is definitely a secret treasure trove. Li Kai laughed in response. Oh? Then those records must be erroneous. Naturally. He clearly knew whether there was a secret treasury here or not. Nevertheless, Long Jinxian was right about a few things. The Beastmaster Citadel indeed knew the Beast Realm very well due to their deep past ties. I know that you are aware of this secret. Her natural-born immortal fate made her very keen. She stared at him for a long time and began to act coquettishly. Li Kai only smiled. He naturally wouldn't reveal this secret to an outsider so easily. Husband, everyone says that there are no secrets between husband and wife, right? Long Jinxian immediately pulled on his arm in a playful manner. Her chest was very plump. So its gentle touch was a fatal temptation. Li Kai lazily looked at her and said, Little girl, don't try to tempt me or it won't end well for you. What do you mean by tempt? Isn't this type of thing normal for us as husband and wife? The little demoness had a gentle and loving touch as if she was a virtuous wife. The others grew wary. They quickly backed off to not bother this flirtatious bear. Li Kai chuckled in response. Little girl, you might want to marry me, but the feeling is not mutual. You. She glared at him in annoyance. But just a second later, she turned gentle again and lovingly held his arm like a little wife while softly saying, even if husband doesn't want to marry me, I'll still follow you forever. How shameless. Jian Wash Wang looked down on her and sneered. Long Jingxian immediately glared at her. Jian Wash Wang, just admit that you are jealous of me. This girl changed her attitude faster than a flipping of a page. Earlier, she was coyly leaning on Li Kai, but now she turned cheeky in a blink of an eye. You are only a crazy girl. What is there to be jealous of? Jian Wash Wang said with disdain. Long Jingxian looked at her then back at Li Kai and laughed. Ha ha, I understand. Little Jian girl, I know that you like Li Kai. You want to steal my husband? Who would want to be involved with a crazy girl like you? Jian Wash Wang leered at her and coldly responded, Only someone insane like you would keep calling him husband. Oh, stop trying to deny it. I can't smell your jealousy from here. Long Jinxian was happy to see Jian Wash Wang riled up and revealed a kingdom toppling smile. Li Kai Riley smiled and shook his head in response to this crazy girl. He glared at her with a fiery stare. Little girl, stop using me for your argument. If you really want to marry me, then I'll take you in tonight. His hot glare and direct words flustered the normally bold Long Jinxian. Oh? Is it all a lie? You don't want to admit it? Jian Wash Wang used this chance to add insult to injury. Long Jinxian arched her chest. Her already towering breasts started to sway in a wavy motion when she purposely posed in this manner, resulting in an even more breathtaking and fatal temptation. Who says I wouldn't do it? Long Jinxian glared at Jian Wash Wang then back at Li Kai and declared, I will give you a test. If you can pass, then I'll marry you. It will be an aptitude test, right? Li Kai smiled and gently shook his head. Although you are really beautiful, wanting me to take a test for you. Sorry, not interested. This young master does not lack for women, understand? Smelly Kai. She became furious and started to pinch his arm without mercy. Are you a man or not? To be afraid of accepting a challenging like this. What are you afraid of? Take her on. 
Jian Huashuang also urged him, How can this girl be better than you? Just take her on, HMPH, Jian Huashuang, stop fanning the flame so jovially. If I actually marry Li Kei, then you have to call me young mistress. Long Jingxian declared, Jian Huashuang looked down on her in response, Wait until you have the ability to become his wife first, then you can boast. Hey, do you dare or not? Long Jingxian immediately asked Li Kai again. Her fiery temperament was truly enchanting. Li Kai shook his head. Girl, I have never been afraid of a challenge. Marrying you is no big deal either, but to be frank, the position of young mistress does not belong to you. I can reconsider if you want to be a concubine, though. Bah, those are some strong words. Long Giant Xian had both hands on her hips. With a fierce look, she boldly said, You want me to be a concubine? Don't even think about it. I don't believe that there is a better woman in this world than I. I am confident that even the so-called number one beauty in the stone medicine world, Ming Yaxu, is not better than me, HMPH. As for talent, I can claim to be number one. Yi King Cheng or whatever can step aside. This girl was truly domineering. However, her words were true. In terms of looks alone, she was not necessarily worse than Ming Yaxu. It was just that they were two entirely different people. Little girl, you don't get it. Li Kai gently shook his head. To me, looks are just superficial, and I don't care for your talents either. There are those who are even more brilliant than you. HMPH. Even if you are right, so what? Long Jingxian gritted her teeth and scowled. You are nothing special either, HMPH. As if anyone would want to marry you. Li Kai laughed and shook his head. Good, you said it yourself, not me. Plus, if I want to marry, I can have my choice of fairies and goddesses. I know that you are very proud, but I am even more arrogant than you. Long Jingxian angrily spoke. What's the use of just speaking? It is only boasting with mere words. Prove it. 